Assalamu alaikum, this is Samia from Sunna Living and today you get to meet my husband. Assalamu alaikum. So today we have a list of 30 plus questions where we're going to ask each other questions so you guys get to know us and I get to know him. And her. We get to know each other too. So the question number one is when did we meet? Um, we met in my sister's birthday hmm. and I forgot the year. It was a long time ago. It was like 11 years ago. Yeah, that was a long and time ago. And we, it, it, my sister had a karaoke in a sushi place so um, we had to um, sing some songs that day. Uh, there was some Backstreet Boy involved there, songs and yeah, it was exciting. And I'm a horrible singer and I didn't know that that he was going to be there or anyone really. I just thought it was going to be just our close friends. But then, I mean, he's his brother so I guess that's okay. <laughs> but he showed up and he was singing songs and that's how we met. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what was your first opinion of me? Well, I was like, uh, she was right across from a big table. They had these tables all the way down and she was down there with my sister and somebody else and I was singing at that time and I remember she was wearing all black so that was kind of interesting. And I didn't used to wear a hijab back then. No, she didn't wear a hijab back then. So she was all black like the, you know, like how you wear in a Hot Topic store. <laughs> Kind of but it was a more elegant black. I was never a Hot Topic person. It was actually it was my sister's shirt that I was wearing that day. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes, and I think my first opinion of him was I actually I didn't trust you too much. <laughs> I don't know what kind of a person you were because I mean there is this random guy in the so I didn't, I didn't trust him too much. When we're talking about finding spouses and stuff, the physical attraction is important. It's not only about character. The first thing, I need to be attracted to you. So I wasn't looking for a spouse, but he was there. Yes. All right, uh, third one. Oh no. When did you know I was the one? It was, this is back then when uh, Facebook was just starting, but we had MySpace. So everybody had MySpace back then. So I, kind of found her there in the best friends was it in the corner of my mm -hmm. sister i'm like oh let me i remember her she was the one wearing all black so <laughs> i kind of sent her a message and uh that's uh that's when we started talking it was all like myspace stuff pretty interesting back then yeah she had a cool page with youtube and songs and stuff <laughs> so yes i used to be a big fan of youtube back then so but how did you when did you know i was the one though um, it, yeah, that came later just talk, by talking and, and uh, I found out what her goals in life were and all that and, and we started talking about Islam back then a lot. It was a lot of Islam back and forth and actually that's where I started learning a lot of stuff too that I didn't know. So that's, that's how it, you know, started the whole thing, you know. And throughout those, all, all those uh, texts I kind of, you know, she's, uh, I think she's the one. She's the one, man. <laughs> so, it was a scary process since the beginning, right? Because because he was still learning about Islam and I was also beginning to learn about my own religion. Even though I followed it, but I wasn't too... What, I mean, even though I call myself a Muslim, but I wasn't too following it. You know, like living it, basically. And so I began to learn a lot about Islam and then that in itself was very rewarding because when you start to learn about Allah, you become closer. And so I think that was kind of how it happened. I was looking at him as somebody who was helping me become closer. And that was a very positive thing. So for me, it just felt good overall. And I think that was the main reason. And question number four. How long did it take to plan the wedding? I didn't do absolutely anything regarding the wedding. We had to do it in three months? Yes. But she did the whole thing. Well, I had help from my sisters um, and my brother-in-law. And I think if it wasn't for their help, I'm not sure, we probably would have gotten married in the car. Because <laughs> that's how it would have been. So they helped out a lot. And it was three months and it was very quick. Uh, but alhamdulillah, it was good. Decent was wedding, good. small people. And I, we, it was easier because we were trying to be simple. We didn't want to be extravagant. We wanted to spend more money on other things rather than on the wedding itself. That was really important. Because I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean, how much do you remember of that day? And you guys in chat will see the pictures. 
at some point. Oh, sure. there is one on the blog right now. There's oh, one of cool. the things yeah. I talked about marrying yeah. a convert and there's one on the blog. So you can see it of us too on the Valima ceremony time. How long have we been married? Five years and a couple of months. Yeah, about five and a half years. Five and a half years. It's going to be six years in April. I'm really terrible at memories and stuff. <laughs> it's okay. Next question. How many children did I want before marriage? Ooh, that's a good one. How many children did I want? Do you know? Mm, two. I think so. I think it was two. I think it was two. And you two? Was it two? Yeah, two. I wanted two. But we have none. We have three cats though. <laughs> and three chickens. Uh, next question. What does your family think of me? Well, they like her a lot. It, it took some time because I think it was kind of cultural. My dad, like right away, he didn't say absolutely anything. He kind of approved the whole thing. With my the rest of my family and my mom and, and stuff, but it took a little bit of time. Um, it, that was not easy accepting other cultures in a way. Um, so it, it's a whole interesting story. I think we can actually do a, like a couple of uh, other videos from this. We probably could. Some tips yeah. or what we learned are throughout the way. But it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. Um, but um, alhamdulillah, yeah, you know. Definitely yes, I have some questions to ask about that. I think we'll do another video on it. So if you guys want to see another video, like and comment what kind of things you want us to talk about when we're dealing with different parents and dealing with different cultures. Yes. And my family actually really likes you. In the beginning they didn't like him, obviously. Um, <laughs> they were. If you are from South Asian culture, then this is not a surprise for you. Uh, so yeah, in the beginning it was not, it was not a happy start of things, but Alhamdulillah, I think now they really like him. Uh, I haven't really heard them say anything negative about him. So, I think it turned out good. Next question, what does my friends or friends think of you? I actually have something to say about that. Okay. Because I think that sometimes, especially, I don't know how is it with guys, you can tell me later. But when it comes with women, sometimes we overshare things that we shouldn't share. And so, I, my friends think of you what I want them to think of you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so I tell them what I feel like sharing, other things I don't want to share because quite honestly, it's not their business. So if I had some things to say, I wouldn't go for them to advice at this point. I probably would go somewhere else, somewhere, I don't know, where I would go, but but yeah, they know what I want them to know and I think that's really important. People shouldn't overshare stuff. Definitely. And she's my best friend, so... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, next question is, what is my worst habit? Mm. Your worst habit. Mm. It's a good thing it's taking a while. Um, I know what to say like the second I read it. Her worst <laughs> habit. She doesn't have that much bad habits mm. at all. I think she, um, when she sets up to finish something, she will finish it and there's like no interruptions. Like you cannot interrupt or anything. She's just tunnel vision that finishing what she has to do. So the cat, the cat might be just meow, 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 I want food, and I'll be like, hey, uh, where's the food, man? And, uh, <laughs> but she has to finish something, like, you know, that's her goal, she's gonna finish, and she's gonna get that done first, and then she's gonna do what? I know what to say. I think you know what your worst habit I'm gonna say. It has to be gaming. <laughs> <laughs> He's a gamer. And we do tend to argue a little bit about it, uh, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I spend a lot of time sometimes. Necessarily playing video games. I mean, the good thing is, is that he realized and admits it. So now you just have to go to a meeting where all the guys yeah, talk all the gamers about it. talk about it and, you know, we game. How games. their partners are unhappy because of it. But yeah, that would be it, actually. Everything else is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, what is my best habit? That's the next question. What is my best habit? She finishes what she starts. So she's uh, dedicating to a project. She's gonna finish that project. She actually, whatever she promises, she keeps. So uh -huh. she's like, yeah, she's like, uh, whatever she sets her mind, she will finish. She will see it to the end. I actually have something similar for you because I noticed that when you say something, you'll follow through it. Like there are sometimes people don't follow through stuff. But he says, okay, I'm going to do it, and it just happens. So I don't have to be wondering when it's going to happen. I can just trust that it is. Yes. And to trust a person like that is awesome. Okay, next question is, who wears the pants in the relationship? I think 
It's her, actually. Uh, I don't know. She probably does not all like this question, but... Uh, I don't like this question. I think this is a leading question and they want you to have this argument over who has control in this relationship. That's how I see parents in the, I mean, I don't know. That's how I see it. Like someone who's, I don't know, controlling their relationship. We don't have anything like that. Like, you have your strengths and I rely on you for that. So some things I'm not gonna take charge in it because that's your domain and you know it. And some things I take charge in because I'm good at it. So we share the pants. Yeah. If you could get, if you could get rid of one thing that belongs to me, what would it be? One thing that, that belongs, belongs to you. That what I have, if you could get rid of it. I'll get rid of one of the cats. She just vomits all over the place. What the? Yeah, it's right there looking at us. But, um, you will get rid of it. <laughs> Bunchy, I'm sorry, man. That's but, messed up, dude. No, I, I wouldn't get rid of anybody. Maybe a chicken, one of the chickens. It's not bodies, it's things. Oh, one yes, thing. It's not things uh, that are alive. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't no. think I will get rid of anything. That's a weird question. Yeah. So, who is the better cook is the next question. <laughs> I would have to say that when we got married, I was doing more, most of the cooking. Yes. Um, and then eventually over the years, she started uh, catching up. Yes. And now she's, uh, I think she's the better cook. I surpassed him. Yeah, in the beginning, I remember I didn't know what to eat. Uh, you would go to work and I'm like, I don't know how to survive now. <laughs> it was pretty bad. I was awful. And yes, you, you're actually a really good cook, Michelle. Yeah, I've been cooking for a long time. Yes, you were living by yourself for many years, so you had to learn how to cook. Um, yeah, it took me some time and then YouTube. That's how I learned. Yeah, she's really good now. Oh, thank you. I'm getting there. Just, I follow recipes really well. What do we argue most about? What do we argue most about is probably um, video games. I spend a lot of time in the video games department, so that's probably what we argue about. It's not like we argue a lot because we don't. We really don't. Um, mm. But uh, I, yeah, you have to say the video game. Part. Totally, I think that's our most important thing. Because I am a person who I need, I need attention. I need some time to myself every day, and so if it is being taken away, then I demand it a little bit. So I think that's probably <laughs> what it is. <laughs> oh, well, you kind of get angry. I'm not angry, but you kind of get annoyed when I don't throw the trash out. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> so we have, we have like, we keep the little bags, right, from the grocery departments. And for some reason, she starts stacking trash and trash and trash and trash at you. And like, like it was a big trash glass thing. I always get annoyed about it. Bag. So the, the bags are almost to explode. And sometimes they do. <laughs> and. You know, I just get home and I see the trash about to explode. So that's kind of annoying. Next question. Have you ever pretended to sleep to avoid an argument? No, we haven't. We always tackle the arguments before we go to sleep. It's not good to go to sleep upset because you're gonna wake up and- Dream you know, about it. <laughs> well, have a good time. I don't think we argue enough to begin with. And, um, and if we do, we deal with it with humor. What were the things you said? Um, that helps to get over, like, to deal with issues. Sarcasm, humor, and what was that one thing? Sense of humor. Sense common of sense. Common sense. <laughs> common sense. Common sense. Next question. What was the last text message I sent you? I send the bitmojis to each other a lot. Wow. And you send me those those GIFs with the with cats or something. Yeah, or something yeah. Right? they have all these. So that's cool probably what we sent each other. That's probably what it was. And who is more affectionate? I think it's her. But um, maybe it depends on the... I thought it was you. Okay. I think you're more affectionate. You're more touchy-feely and you show a lot affection. Well, okay, so <laughs> we took this test together. It was called uh, Five Love Languages or something like that. And, and then they tell you how you are, how you like to be appreciated. And so everyone has their different ways and you have the touchy-feely ways and mm -hmm. I don't remember but I know that I am more verbal. vocal. Yes. Yeah, she's the verbal one. And the verbal, definitely. I, it's like around the house, I'm talking to cats all the time even though they don't listen to me. But that's we, how I show we affection. We waste a lot of time talking to the cats. <laughs> yes. And we do show affection. So it's not like we're in hiding. All the time. We're open all in the our time. house. If you came in, sorry. You're gonna see it. All right. What well, depends who comes in. 
It depends who comes in. When my family comes in, you don't see it. <laughs> yes. What is something that I enjoy doing with you? She enjoys a lot of uh, walking in parks. Oh, so, yeah. yes. And taking pictures and stuff like that. More, uh, yeah, I do enjoy nature walks, definitely. And what you enjoy with me, I think it has to be movies or TV shows. Movies or eating sushi. Sushi is like a big one. Yeah, so that's yeah. something you enjoy doing with me. Mm -hmm. I was going out to eat. Movies and sushi. Yeah. We do, when we go to new places, we, uh, we like to go to new places to eat too. Who is the most romantic one? It has to be you. What? I am not that romantic. You come up with the more creative ideas about birthdays and anniversaries and stuff. I am not that romantic. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I go after my mom. She's not into that kind of stuff. I mean, she is into it. She appreciates it, but she doesn't initiate it. And so I don't, I don't know how to do it. You're cool.